Hey guys, it is Sunday morning here in the Philippines, and as promised, we are doing a second free-for-all weekend video. And we are looking at gassers, as I mentioned in yesterday's video. And I brought out nothing but your traditional stereotypical gasser with the straight axle front end, big slicks in the back, and so forth what you would picture as a gasser with a little moon tank on the front. So pretty much every one of these cars have a moon tank on the front and a straight axle. Didn't bring out any tubbed pro street cars, didn't bring out any pro stock, super stock, or altered wheelbase cars. These are all gassers. Some of them may be tubbed, but they're still not your like average pro street with the slammed front end with like Mustang 2 independent front suspension, tubular A-frames, and things like this. These are all your straight axle front ends. So I brought out all of them that I own. So I think there's a total of 33 here. I don't have any of the like extremely rare uh, very valuable ones like the candy striper and such, but I do have some really cool looking ones. So we're going to start with ones we haven't looked at for a while because earlier this week we just unboxed three of them um, that are going to be in today's lineup. So definitely don't want to start with them. So I kind of did a lineup of eight of them here in front of us. That way we can start with these guys. Uh, one of them being a custom that I did. Uh, nothing major, just kind of a wheel swap, but it's the first rubber tire variant of this wagon I have. But this year, they're releasing a super treasure hunt of this really soon. So this one actually um, is the first release of this wagon, the first color uh, combo on it. And these wheels and tires are off of a Hot Wheels 100% car. And as you can see, the rim of the back wheel is a little bit nicked up. And same thing with this side. This side's not as bad. Front wheels are pretty good, though, and they roll nice. The slicks kind of, they roll, but that rubs the quarter panel. But they look killer on this car. It should be raised just a hair in the back end so they didn't rub. But it looks like your traditional gasser with the slicks hanging out, small block with like a hillborn or in Gleese stack injection. So it looks good. Great. Yeah, the reason the 100% uh, Corvette funny car, I think it was, became a parts car because my friend's dog got a hold of it. So it destroyed the whole car, except for the wheels and tires were still salvageable. But um, they still have a couple little flaws, but still look pretty good for an old gasser. So that's my only wagon gasser that I own at the moment. Uh, the Coca-Cola or Cherry Coke sedan delivery from m2 should be hitting one of the hobby shops here probably i don't know by june or something so hopefully i can get my hands on that because that looks really cool had a couple of other viewers tell me that it looks really good so um definitely want to get my hands on that so that's the custom well wheel swap that i've done uh, just didn't look good with the plastic wheels. It needed a set of big slicks and little skinnies in the front. As you can see, it looks like your traditional gasser now. Next on the agenda is the, well, actually it was the first gasser that I think um, I was able to get from M2. I don't know if this was released before the Nova or at the same time, but the 57 Chevy Wii End Edition, I think this is a hobby shop exclusive. And uh, I got the regular variant and I had the Super Chase variant. Um, very cool looking car, two-door hardtop, 57 Chevy. They didn't hack up the quarter panels, which I do like that because on the 57, you don't really need to do that. Actually, even on the 55 and 56s, you don't need to do that. But I don't know, for some reason on the 55, it looks really good because of the body lines and the chrome and stuff. On the 57 Chevy... It looks okay if you raise them a little bit, but leave the same original like contour and sloped back to them. It looks pretty good. The radius quarters, though, look good on a 55. So this one I really dig. has the Hildebrand style wheels, front and back, with like a magnesium finish. And then your moon tank, straight axle, uh, and such. So uh, M2 has been basically modding every 
casting that they have into a gasser, it seems to be. Which is cool because they have a lot of cool castings that would look great as gassers, like as we've seen with the Studebaker pickup uh, earlier in the week. It looks really good, even the 66 Charger and so forth. Um, now, here's the Super Chase. This is one of 300, and as you can see, pretty much the identical car. The only thing that they did is they gold-plated everything. The wheels, the trim, trim around the windows, and then your engine uh, scoop is gold, and then the interior is gold. So there's only 300 of these worldwide. So, rare car, nice to have it, especially... As myself being a gasser fan, nice to have a couple of chase piece gassers in the collection. Uh, and I also am hoping to get that super treasure hunt of the wagon when it becomes available. Don't care if it's loose, carded, because it will end up being loose anyways in my collection. So next we have the Cyclone. And I'm going to go ahead and do it in partner with another Cyclone because these are both the first editions. This one was actually released first in the Garage series, then a month or two later, this guy came. This, These are my two favorite Cyclones because of the front wheels. Love the like ET slot looks with the American five spokes in the back. Uh, looks very good on the car. Has the injected and blowing 427 in it. I'm just assuming it's 427 because that's what it says on the side. No opening hood or anything, but you can tell it's blowing and injected. So, really nice casting. Uh, could have used a little more detail, like headlights on the white one and tail lights on it. The silver one, though, it looks like they kind of have headlight detail, but not really because it's the silver two-tone of the car. So, this is when they didn't really put a lot of headlight and tail light detail onto the small card, like regular mainline card style premium stuff. They started doing that in like 2018 when they started putting all the premium car culture stuff on the big cards. Although some of the older stuff you may find, like the Real Riders or the Old Boulevard on the smaller cards, may have had some light detail. It was kind of random. Um, but these are great. Now, I'll bring out the other Cyclones since we're on this topic. Why I like these the best over the other ones. Because the other ones, they do have some cool paint jobs on these other ones. And I have almost every rubber tire casting of the car available. Except for the Peppermint uh, Convention car. That's the only one I'm missing with rubber tires. They do make a couple plastic tire variants. And actually, one of the most valuable ones is the plastic tire selections and it actually has one of the coolest paint jobs a very conservative two-tone red and white factory looking paint job it looks killer on the car but the reason i like these two the best is because i'm not a big fan of these front wheels they kind of attempted to make them look like the weld super lights with the holes in them but because of the through the wheel axle it just doesn't look right. It looks like there's a big center cap there where it shouldn't be. Um, and I don't know, maybe they're just a little wide or something, but they're really not. They're kind of skinny. And overall, I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know. I just favor the little skinny five spokes on the front of like the Supernova. And then even the ones that usually typically come on the 55 Chevy Gasser, which are a bigger diameter, like ET slot, like so. These ones I do like more than the holes. So, um, overall though, the best looking one is this Nova 5-spoke. But anyways, uh, I can deal with these because this is a really cool casting. This is from the black hole box set that we unboxed a couple months back. And as you can see, it has like black painted stilly rims in the rear. Uh, then you have the RLC edition car culture where they were uh, making like one more car per like car culture set in a five car box set. This was from the same set that the... Uh, 55 Chevy, the orange bad gasser came from called like Red Liners or something like that. Uh, this is the only one that I got from that box set because it was the only gasser drag car in the set. So had to have it. Uh, love the paint job. The candy purple metallic 
and then the name Cosmic Cyclone, really cool. Hot Wheels does a really good job with like coming up with these nicknames for the cars that would be like pretty much real gasser names, I would say. Um, now here, Comet Racing, and this is from the newer uh, Team Transport set. So this one we unboxed and they actually we took a look at all the comments together. So that's why I'm kind of being brief on these. But still, for the guys that didn't see the comment videos or any of my other videos, if this is your first time watching some of my videos, I'll, I will leave the link actually for the comment video at the end of this one so you can go back and look at it. Really cool video. Gives you a better, more thorough look at all of these castings. Uh, then we have the... Third installment of Drag Strip Demons, and the original ones, which we looked at in another video, Series 1 and 2 were big sets, like one was a 25 car set, the other one was a 30 car set, and then they were released back in 09 and 10, so it took about uh, 9 years, and then they finally released a third installment in the Car Culture series, and it was predominantly all gassers you had the cyclone and then both novas the 55 chevy and then they threw in an awb coronet which i was going to bring those out for this video but i figured that's not really a gasser that's kind of just like your traditional like outlaw drag car so anyways let's go ahead and position these where we can line them all up because as i said we have like 33 of them coming out today so, my favorite gasser casting is the Purple Nova, which we're going to look at now because we're running out of parking spaces. So, and this is actually one of my favorite variants of the 66 Supernova. I have every casting of this car available, even both Team Transport color variants, which we will take a look at those here brief in just a few moments. Uh, and then um, the original one I do not have here but I believe I still have it put in a box in the States. I never opened that one. The original Real Riders release from back in, I think, 2011 or 2012, the black chrome one, which is really cool. Very conservative looking, uh, just straight black chrome. But I really dig this purple one because it's just a Gasser Nova. A little bit of a lame name. Uh, I could have probably came up with something a little better, but still, the way they wrote it, the... Um, the font of the letters and then the color and all the sponsors looks really good. The candy, like chrome, spectra flame purple, looks great on the car. So that's why this is one of my favorites. Second favorite is the blue selections. Actually, this would have been the second release of the Gasser Nova, Super Gasser, Super Nova Gasser, I should say. Um, <clears throat> And this is done in like your more conservative blue and white two-tone, like a stock Nova that they took, like a old lady garage find or something with like 10,000 miles on it. They pulled it out of the garage and turned it into a gasser. There's actually a 55 Nomad or 56 Nomad that was done like that by Nikki Gassers. And it looks killer. It was like a Concours Restored Nomad, and the guy bought it and then took it to Nikki Gasser and had them transform it into a gasser. Great looking car. Uh, and it was an all original Nomad that was really nice, but I actually agree with the guy that bought it. I would have turned it into a gasser too. It looks much better. Um, but, anyways, yeah, this is one of my favorites too. Love this casting. That's why I did that comparison video a couple of weeks ago on who does it better, M2 or Hot Wheels. And as I said, I will always favor the Hot Wheels one, even though like the front end, as we know, has this big blocky area that is a little bit ugly for the straight axle. Uh, whereas they do it with all of their gassers, as you can see with the wagon, the Cyclone. And such. Now, M2 on the other hand nailed it because they have like the axle exposed, and they have these little arches that house the axle that are to represent like the leaf springs. So they did a really good job. I guess Hot Wheels didn't do that because of the fact that it would be a little bit too fragile for kids playing with it. So, anyways, um, 
Moving along to another Nova. This is your Copperhead, and I love the paint job on this car. The top of the roof is awesome. It actually has a textured feel to it. I don't know if this is like uh, the metal foil like they use on model cars or what it is, but it is really cool. It feels like snakeskin, and it is really a kick-ass looking paint job in person. Uh, they did make two variants of this car. There's one with a roll cage in it. That's the only time they've ever done that with the 66 Supernova so far to date. They only have one that has the cage and no cage variant. That's the Copperhead. All the other ones always came with a cage. When they did that, the next release was the first ever mainline release, which was the one from the third installment of Drag Strip Demons, which is this guy here, the Supernova. And I would have bet money that they were going to do a cage and no cage variant, kind of like they were doing with the Hako Skyline. But they didn't. They stopped it right after the Texas Convention Copperhead. So... Uh, that kind of threw my theory out the window. Now, this is the first time they ever put any front wheel on the Supernova besides those little five spokes. They used a big diameter ET slots like we see on the 55 Chevy, which I put over on the other side. But anyways, this is the first time it ever had a different wheel. It always has the little five spokes with these uh, five spoke uh, ET slots or Americans, whatever you want to call it in the back. The black hole one, though, they did paint them black, uh, but that one we're going to take a look at next, actually, because there is a will variant, or not a will variant, not on the Nova itself, but there is a will variant on the hauler, uh, but I didn't bring out the haulers to show you guys. Only the gassers is what we're sticking with today. So, this was brought up by Mike Zarnock in one of his videos when these Team Transports first came out, that there was a color variant of it. Very discreet, too. Very hard to tell. I never noticed it. Even when my two var Will Variant Transporters, the Retro Rig with the gay, uh, gray stillies or the chrome five slots, never noticed it on the Nova, the color variant. One is supposed to be matte black and one is supposed to be black primer. Did not notice it until I got the black hole box set. Most of my, well, both of mine, I should say, with both variants of the Retro Rig has this semi-gloss matte finish black. The new set, though, has this black primer-looking Nova. As you can see, there is a difference. This one is much duller. Not much duller, but a little duller. It does look like black primer, where this other one looks like matte black. Kind of hard to tell, much easier and much more transparent if they're in person in your hands. But as you can kind of see on the deck lid, this one shines a little more than this one does. So there are those color variants. So next in the Supernovas is the Tootsie Roller, the latest RLC release. Now, I guess there's another RLC release coming up soon, too, that I will have to get my hands on because I love this casting. Uh, still, I'm behind on RLC stuff since I'm here in the Philippines. I'm not a member anymore, and there's a few cars I would like to get. Like, I really hate that I missed out on that Impala Lowrider that was just released and hate that I lost out on the uh, Pro Touring Charger and stuff. So there's a lot of them that I missed out on that I regret. But... Hopefully when I get back to the States, they're not so overpriced that I can't afford them uh, and I can add them to my collection. Now this is cool. This is the first time the motor's been highly detailed, like where they painted the valve covers. And this one has a big block Chevy in it. You can tell by the width of the valve covers, like if you compare it to, well, we'll say the 55 Chevy Gasser. See how narrow those valve covers are? That's your small block Chevy. And plus you can tell by the Siamese center ports on the headers. You can't really see the headers too well on this one, but you can kind of look down in there and see that it looks like they are split center ports. So that emphasizes big block, but those big wide valve covers are kind of a dead giveaway. So that's your Tootsie Roller. And then while we're on this gasser here, the 55 Chevy, 
To me, this is the best variant ever released, not because I don't have any of the big dollar convention ones or the candy striper. The candy striper paint job is probably one of the coolest ones, but this dirty blonde is pretty cool too with the chrome yellow and the pearl white top, pearlescent top. But this car has much more detail than any of the others. As you can see, it has a white interior. Used to be that the interior engine and bumpers were all one piece, whereas they're not nowadays. The interior is a separate piece from the engine and then the bumper, I think, in the rear. Or the rear bumper is a separate piece and the engine is a separate piece with the Moon Eyes tank. Because the base, as you can see, is one piece big piece but the bumper is separate now the base originally had these spots here open and i will show you that on now uh, let's go ahead and get the drag strip demon variant over here so as you can see how the base is open here and then how the bumper is definitely a separate piece here you can see that it's kind of it could be a separate piece but i doubt it i think it's part of the base so I take that back. I don't know, maybe even the engine is part of the base, but I don't think so because they would have to put the wheel in somehow, the axle and stuff. But yeah, there is some mods on this casting where it's new. The headers have more detail than they ever had with that bluish, yellowish tint like real chrome does once it gets too hot. Uh, then they have the ET like sl cheater slicks like it would be like street tires but they have the grooves and they even have like the notches on the sidewall so really really cool and just has a lot of cool details where none of the other gassers do that's why i was saying this is the better one and i think this is the first time ever that the chassis has been like this and the first time ever that they did that detail with the headers and the first time ever that these slicks were released so, really cool piece. So, <clears throat> this is your Moon Eyes uh, gasser, which we did in our comparison with the Supernova. The only thing I have against this is the little skinny slicks. I wish they would have used a tub chassis. That's another thing M2 does wrong. They use non-tub chassis with these little narrow slicks. The Nova is believable because if you didn't cut up the Nova's chassis, you would never get anything bigger than that on the rear of the Nova. Whereas though the Charger and such, you could just kind of move the springs inboard and you could get a big slick underneath the Charger. So that's why I don't know why they put these little skinnies on the Charger sometimes. So Guys, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit here. So here is the 100% uh, classical gasser set. Love this little 47, 48 Austin. It could be probably 47 to 52 Austin two-door sedan. Did an awesome job with this. And it has the removable front clip with a highly detailed blow-in small block Chevy. As you can see, the Siamese ports, narrow valve covers and such really really cool little car and this is from um i think it's masmanian a uh, big john masmanian they make a few cars of him in the 100 percent uh series they actually have his charger uh funny car it's a challenger funny car i can't recall they even have a willies of him too so popular guy in the 100 percent series and then here is the counterpart in that set. And they actually make a wheel variant set, but not that big of a deal. The front axles are uh, switched around. Sometimes the, oops, the Mazanian uh, Austin will have the bicycle spokes, and sometimes the Henry J will have the ET slots on the front. So there is a variant of that set. But that set is like, almost impossible to find as it is so to find both variants is going to be next to impossible i would think but uh you can but just be careful because the rubber bands will eat the paint so if they have not removed the rubber bands yet most likely it's eating the paint so as you can see another detailed small block removable front clip really cool piece so uh let's put him over here and Lost a tire on that Austin. So, <clears throat> a couple of them that we'll just speed right through because we already looked at them. Here's the ones from 
Monday's unboxing, your Studebaker gasser pickup, and then your Charger, 66 Charger gasser. These are both from M2. And if you guys want to see them up close and a little bit more detail, go back a couple videos in my video log and you will see them there uh, in the Monday M2 Mondays unboxing. Uh, then we have the uh, 163 Nova that we just did an unboxing on about three weeks ago, two weeks ago. This is the latest Boulevard release with the Moon Eyes Drag Bus. Love the color on this. Just love everything about this car. The name, little too short with the two as the Roman numerals, just like Chevy 2. And this is actually in partner with Gassers. And that's actually a real company. And it is on this... Uh, car too. It may be on the hauler actually, but it really cool that they kind of release these in correspondence with each other around the same time. And now the first release of this casting was back in the original Drag Strip Demons, and it was two variants. There's one called Snake Eyes, which is silver and black, kind of like the Comet, kind of like that style paint job, similar. But this one's really cool, the Wilshire Shaker. And there's actually a real gasser like this. And really cool piece. And then the latest one before this was in the Drag Strip Demons. As I was saying, it had both variants of the Nova Gasser. So here is your other, I think, 62, 63 uh, Nova Gasser. Let's see if we can see the name on the bottom. I think it's right here, and I believe it's a 63, but anyways, yeah, 63 Chevy Nova. So that's the too much, too soon, once again, using the Chevy 2 um, type of name with the Roman numerals. Then we have the Mustang Gasser, which is another one that we just seen on Monday, so we'll kind of just give you a quick look at him. Pretty cool, 66 Fastback Mustang Gasser. Nice color choice, magnesium finished wheels. Looks pretty cool. Uh, then the 55 Chevy from the latest installment of the Drag Strip Demons from back in 18. Really dig this one. They actually did that like kind of textured filling with these diamond stars in the roof and the paint. It actually looks like the paint's indented. I think it is, the clear, but those are not flaws. That's actually part of the paint. So it has that wild, like, 60s gasser. And then they have the uh, Try Me, which is this, I guess, symbolic meaning of, like, tri fi Chevys, your 55, 56, and 57s. So cool car. Uh, like the center line style wheels in the back to break it up a little bit where it's not always the five spokes. So pretty cool. And even the plate says try me. So really nice looking car. Then one that I want to go over real quick. Um, there's actually a color variant on the Redliners car culture 55 Chevy as you can see this one's really dark orange this one's really light orange I think the light orange is the rare variant so as you can see it's more transparent in person kind of like the Nova's that is flat black and satin black but you can see this a little bit better especially in the engine compartments um, let me flip it around see the one in my right hand here is the darker one as you can see it's much darker it's pretty easy to see it here so that is your bad gasser 55 chevy and there's a color variant so keep your eyes open for that then you have your other now uh, we got 55 chevy gassers that's all that's left here guys spin through them quickly uh, there's your hoonigan and gray primer kind of looks like the two lane black top 55 chevy then you have your black hole from the black hole box set, which is pretty cool. Then you have your 50th anniversary favorites, big deal. And then you have your 2018 Melon 55 Chevy. So speeding through it because I think it will shut off at 30 minutes. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the look at all these gassers. 
And I will be back on Monday. We have some cool stuff coming up next week. Some firsts for YouTube. Some new Land Rovers are coming in. Uh, some new Mini GT stuff. Some other really cool stuff coming up next week. So make sure you tune back in Monday to watch that video. I left the icon here on the right for you to subscribe if you have not done so. Please remember to do that. And then... Please leave a comment, tell your friends about my channel, and if you don't mind, even share the video, guys. So there's a look over at most of them. I couldn't fit them all in the lot. So that's most of our gassers here for today. So thanks for watching, guys. See you on Monday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.